Welcome back to the lab, your place for tutorials, travel and inspiration. Today I will show you how to do this butter smooth slow motion effect with any kind of frame rates. I'm pretty sure you can get almost the same result in the free version of DaVinci Resolve, but in the studio version you have this AI feature where it works better I think. So I've got this clip where I have my winter clothes on and I throw my winter hat into the air and catch it back. And this is the clip where we put into slow motion. So we take the clip and we cut it as soon as I throw my head up in the air. Here I've set the cut when we have the most motion in the clip. Then here when I catch it back this will be the end of the clip. So here once again when I do the motion I cut the clip here. In this clip we only cut out the winter hat so we don't need it for now. We take it one layer above and deselect it so it's not visible for now. Then here we take these clips together. Then we go further through the clip until here where I pretend like I'm throwing it up but I have nothing in my hand. And here when I do this motion with my hand we set a cut so we have here a smooth transition. So when you play this you see it's a bit too early, so we cut this perfectly. So when you watch this, here I have the winter head in my hand. And then there's the cut and there's nothing in my hand. So make this transition as clean as possible. Then we go further through the clip. Here I'm taking all my winter clothes off. Then I take my sunglasses out and here I'm pretending like I'm catching my head again. So this is once again the moment where we set the cut here when I have the most motion in my hand. So we get a seamless cut there. Just cut your clip there and then go further through where I catch my hat, my summer hat here. I even changed the hat. So here I start with the winter hat and here at the end I have my summer cap in the hand. So we have a bit more variety there. So here once again, right here, when we have the most motion inside it, we trim these clips together. Here once again, make sure this is very seamless. I think we can add one frame more here. So this is pretty much the rough cut. I've got my head here, I'm throwing in the air. It disappears, I'm taking all my clothes off and at the end I'm catching it back. So this is the rough cut we need to start with this animation. Then we go here to our invisible clip, we deselect it, we put it right here to this cut and we make it visible again because this is here when we throw it up. In this clip we only cut out the head so this is flying in slow motion up and down. So take a right click on this clip and go to read time control. So it open up this menu. So for the first three frames, we want to have 100% speed. So we click on this little dot and add a speed point and we will do the same thing here at the end. We go three frames back and we also add here a speed point. So it starts with 100% and it ends with 100%. And all this in the middle, we need to make it as long as this clip until here. So we take this little thing up here and drag it over so you can see this clip is slower now. Only 19% and we drag it over until it matches with the other cut. And when your upper clip is the same length as the clip below, we need to cut out the winter head here from the rest of the scene. So we open this clip in the color page and after the last node we create a new node. Then with the right mouse button we add alpha output and connect the blue square to the blue circle. So when we cut something out here it's an alpha channel so we have no background there. Then go here to the windows tab and select the curve tool, this pen. And then simply draw a mask roughly around here. Go through the footage and make sure you're not cutting into the frame here. This looks fine to me. At the beginning and at the end we need to cut our hand out of the frame. So we can go over here to the tracker tab and click here on frame. So we want to have this one a bit higher up here. 
and at the beginning a bit more down so when we play this along it goes up with the hat so our hand doesn't get cut out and we do the same thing at the end when we catch it back so right here it's good and all the way at the end we need to go down with this window so it doesn't cut out our hand so we just cut our hat perfectly out of the scene back in the edit page when we play it back we have everything on we throw out our hat we cut it out from the scene so i'm taking off all my winter clothes and my hat is still flying up there very laggy very slow until at the end where i catch it back my summer hat and now comes the spice of davinci resolve inside here we take this clip with only two percent of the speed go right here to the inspector and go to read time and scaling here read time process you can click on the drop down menu and you have optical flow now when we play it back you can see it's way smoother but it's warping up and down we can do it better by motion estimation click here on the drop down and you have here ai speed warp faster i highly recommend to do it with the faster because the pattern is way more resource heavy and you don't really need it so click on the faster and wait until it's pre-rendered and now when you play back you can see we have here this butter smooth slow motion with only two percent of the speed and this time i can take off all my winter clothes and make myself ready for summer put my sunglasses on and i catch my summer head out of nowhere i've got two last tips to make this cut out here way smoother you can go over here to the mask and here softness you can drag it up to around 0.5 so you got a little bit of softness so this mask is not so edgy and then as i promised the last tip at the end to make this transition here way more seamless we take our slow motion clip and the clip below together and create with these two a new compound clip then we go here to effects and up here you have video transitions and there you have smooth cut you can see here at the end the winter hat is falling down and the transition to the summer hat is not that smooth so take this smooth cut and take it here at the end of the compound clip and now with the help of ai da vinci will transform the winter hat to your summer hat and makes this transition way more seamless and this is how you can create this butter smooth slow motion effect with almost any kind of fps in da vinci resolve with that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.